slave to hip hop. This story begins in the year 1775, centuries before Ernest Super Cooper was born. It was the year that his fifth great grandfather was born. Cooper traced his roots and discovered he is a descendant of African American slaves. This book has a large collection of freedom fighters, some of the most outstanding African American slaves. They fought in the Revolutionary War. As a matter of fact, they had one of the most fantastic black regiments in U.S. military history. Cooper's own great-grandfather fought in the Civil War. Cooper grew up like a semi-slave boy himself. He was born on a farm in Weeksville, North Carolina. He worked in some of the same fields that his great-grandparents worked as slaves. He could still hear the voices echoing in the same fields where they worked. Can you imagine how they must have felt as slaves? At the age of 15, he moved to New York City. And the schools got into the grooves of music, fashion, and art. His research, colorful illustration, writing skills grew. He created black history, hip hop, rhythm, and blues. But he soon realized that the more he creates, the more he becomes a slave. Slave to hip hop. Baron and Super Cooper. Get your copy today at Amazon.